Hello, thank you for tuning in into Renby TV, the online hydraulic video channel of our company Renby Hydraulics. Ever wonder what steps or repair pumps go through before we send the finished product back to our customer? In this video, we will follow the complete repair process of a hydraulic pump going from the dismantling up to the last step, the finishing where we paint the pump and after the painting, we send the pump back to our customer. In this case, we repaired a Bosch Rexroad A10 VSO 100 open circuit variable piston pump. But rest assured, we can help you with other brands and other types of pumps as well. In this video, we highlighted our hydraulic pump repair division, but we can help you in other fields as well. Next to hydraulic pump repair, we are also specialized in hydraulic cylinder repair, product sales of hydraulic components and spare parts, hydraulic service and maintenance on site, hydraulic system engineering and projects, and sales and service of high pressure, high force tools. For more information about our company's products and services, visit our website www.rim-a.com. Anyway, back to the repair subject. Our pump has just arrived in the, in the warehouse and is ready for its first step with this map plate. Let's have a look. First, the pump is carefully dismantled. After the disassembly, pictures are taken of all the disassembled parts. These are included afterwards in the quotation. Then the parts are carefully measured and the dimensions are recorded in an evaluation sheet. After the dimensions are recorded on the evaluation sheet, we will prepare the quotation. For this, we use our online information portal and web shop, Renby Connect. Renby Connect gives its users access to 500,000 products with price and lead time and 50,000 parts lists with drawings. Our repair technician can immediately select the parts he needs and send via Renby Connect an inquiry to our ERP software program. The information is then automatically processed by our computer system and thus the client receives a clear quotation accompanied by photos and a clear description of the condition of the pump almost instantly. After we receive the go-ahead from the client for the repair, the pump and the parts are thoroughly cleaned in our washing machine. Next, we lap the rotary parts in the end cover. At RMB Hydraulics, we stock a lot of hydraulic pump and motor spare parts. This helps the customer in reducing the lead times a lot. Because a lot of spare parts needed for the repair, we can immediately take from our stock. In our fully automated Cardex inventory systems, you will find mainly original spare parts for Bosch Rexroth and Eaton 
piston and vein units. Now that we have collected all the parts, mostly from our stock, we can start with the assembly. First we check the bearing play of the bearings and the shaft, if it's within tolerances. After the bearing plate is checked and with intolerance, we install the rotary parts, the cradle, the bearing liners and all the other parts. Then our pump moves to our test bench. We have two electrically driven pump test benches. First, the pump is mounted on a separate uh, mounting flange workbench. This makes work easier for the uh, operator. The oil in the testing zone is recovered and recycled and filtered by three CEC Jensen filtration units. The oil we use for testing is after filtration cleaner than factory prescribed specifications. The reason for choosing electrical motors to drive the test bench is more or less ecological as our roof is covered with more than 500 solar panels. Our test bench is completely computer operated. Every repaired pump that leaves our workshop is accompanied by a testing graph. We keep all the testing graphs for, for, for future reference and of course we give this information from the testing graphs for our clients in the form of a graph. After testing, the pump moves to our finishing department where the pump is prepared for the new paint and after the paint it is carefully packed and 